everyone, thank you for tuning in to Lindsay's Latest. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the 20 things every woman and girl should have in their wardrobe. Yes, I called it a wardrobe because these are the things that you will actually wear. Not to be confused with your wardrobe, which is a closet full of things you probably don't wear, right? These are 20 pieces that I've carefully selected, so it's going to kind of take a while. So I'm going to rush through these 20 pieces and only give about one to two reasons why I think they are a must-have in your closet. It. So let's go. First thing you should have in your wardrobe is a big cashmere scarf, like a big guy, like this. It doesn't have to be black and it doesn't have to be cashmere. Cashmere is just nicer if you want to spend the extra money because it's warmer. These are great for traveling. It's also the go-to scarf that you have. You know, you have all those printed ones that you don't wear. Get a basic color one and keep it in your closet. The second thing is a crossbody bag. This is mine. Yours doesn't have to look like this, but just any style crossbody will work. It's great when you don't want to bring your old clunky purse and you can just fit a few things and you can grab and go. Another must have essential is the updated black dress. Now we all know to have a little black dress in our closet, but I say go find one that's a little bit more exciting and has a bit more interest like this one that I just got. Simple staple necklaces. You can see I'm wearing these two here. You guys have probably seen I've worn them in many of my videos. These little necklaces add just a little simple something to elevate your outfit. And while I'm on jewelry, I will talk about little dainty rings. I always suggest buying some little dainty rings because again, they add a little touch to your outfit without wearing like a big piece of jewelry. They also give you a bit of your own signature style as well. These are great everyday rings and they're also nice because you can add cocktail rings to them and they always mix together really nicely. Oh yes, baby, everyone should have Uggs or Fugs. Fugs are the fake Uggs, which I'm fine with too. The goodness and comfort and cushy coziness between your toes. Oh, everyone has to have them. A black blazer. Why? Because it goes great with slacks, jeans, skirts, whatever it may be, they add polish. A white button-up blouse. Mine's an updated version. It's more of a tunic style because I wanted it to be a little funky, but these are great because you can layer them under sweaters, you can layer them under dresses. They're just a good foundation for a lot of outfits, and you need them. Professional or just going out and having a good time. Clean dark wash jeans. They can be skinny or boot cut, whatever your preference. Just make sure that there is no whiskering, no fading, and no holes. They're a good staple and they're clean so you can dress them up or dress them down. Black jeans, because they're great for work, you can dress them up when you're going out on the town, and if you don't wanna wear black slacks, these you can kinda of get away with wearing sometimes. Tunic sweaters, the ones that are roomy enough so that they're comfortable and long enough so you can wear them with jeggings. So that means they go past your butt and hit mid thigh. These are the go-to sweaters that you wear when you wanna feel cozy, but then presentable enough to go out. You guys will wear the heck out of these. A simple black clutch. Simple, this has texture, and it's going to be the clutch out of all your clutches that you carry the most. Simple camisoles. You know, a lot of times you wear shirts that are see-through, sometimes dresses are see-through, and these are your go-to. Nude, black, white, gray, all of those colors, you gotta have them. The classic trench, whether you want it in black or camel, pick your color, whatever is fine. It's the go-to jacket when you're not sure what else will work. They're so classic and so timeless, they're worth the investment if you wanna spend the extra money. These are all my things, actually, you guys. I pulled from my own closet. So I'm really telling the truth here. And I wear this stuff all the time. A nice white t-shirt. I prefer v-neck because I feel like this cut is more flattering on me, but get a nice one so that you can wear them with nicer skirts or just jeans where you're laying around casual. A good, nice, crisp white t-shirt. Gotta have it. A leather jacket. Whatever style you want. It could be faux leather, which this is faux, or real. It can be, I don't know, if you don't like leather, maybe just a lightweight jacket that you can wear all the time. In black, gray, a neutral, just something simple that is a no-brainer. You just throw it on. Totes. Totes are totes important in your life because they're great for travel. You can throw your laptop, your makeup, they're the everything bag. Everyone should have one. Great for just life in general. Nude sandals because when the summer months come around and you can't figure out what shoes to wear, the nude ones always work. <sighs> I'm, I think I'm on number 19. I don't even know what number I'm on right now. Go everywhere, wear anywhere, everyday booties. You can see they just have a little bit of a heel. This is maybe like an inch or so. You can wear them with dresses, jeans, whatever it may be. Make sure they're clean enough, no crazy like zippers, bells and whistles, just simple enough, stylish enough to wear the heck out of. Nice flats. 
Not to be confused with your drabby flats that you wear every single day. You want these flats to be nice enough so they can be worn with dresses, possibly, or jeans. It's those days when your feet hurt, but you have a big meeting, just wear the flats. So make sure they're nice. And these are kind of funky, but they're still really nice. Black pumps. This goes without being said, you guys, black pumps. I mean, when in doubt, black pumps. Even when you're wearing white, cream, pastel, summer, winter, fall, black pumps work. Oh. Just wanted to say that you guys, everything I showed you today was from my own wardrobe and these are essentials. They don't have to necessarily be in the colors I showed you. I just wanted to inspire you as far as the pieces themselves. You may not want to wear a ton of black, white, and gray like I do. You may wear rainbow colors and that's fine. I just wanted to show you guys the pieces exactly as themselves. You pick whatever colorway. The most important thing is, is to keep these pieces simple because you want to add these to your future purchases. The trendy stuff. And that, my friends, was the 20 things that I feel every woman or girl should have in their wardrobe. Please let me know your thoughts. Remember, I've listed everything in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.